Hey guys, it's finally time for some canoeing. We prepared everything, we've checked the route, so the only thing which is left to do is to put everything into the trunk and we can get going. The canoe is right here. It's infl in inflatable, inflatable. So let's hope that we will manage to put it together and inflate it and, well, that we won't drown <laughs> into the river. <laughs> My G-Shock says we have a perfect uh, day for canoeing, perfect hour, perfect, perfect... Uh... Ah, damn it! I got scared. Don't do this again. I don't like this. That's kind the of... main uh, use of a paddle, to hit someone in their head. <laughs> we are going straight into the adventure. I have my brave driver on the left and behind there is Tomek in the other car because one car will be left in the place in which we deploy. I guess it's a plot. I don't know, it sounds fancy. And the other car is gonna be in the place when we left leave the river. It's time to change vehicles and go straight to the river bank. The day is extremely pleasant, perfect for canoeing. We have amazing weather, not too hot, but not too cold, slightly windy and still no mosquitoes at this time of the year, so I think it's going to be great. We are going <laughs> road between the woods and we are going extremely slowly because I had a very careful driver who is so worried about his car that I could walk faster than we are going right now. And it's like faster, slower, faster, slower. So I'm, there is um, a slight possibility that someone is going to puke soon. If someone would like to donate a Jeep for a misfencing video course, then why not do it? Sure. I will find a good way to use this gift. This is our spot right here. We haven't tried swimming from this particular place, so let's hope it will be a good way down to the river, not too steep and without any glass bottles which people leave near the river so you can have yourself standing on it. The last sc screw, <laughs> the last screw is lost. <laughs> at the new level of difficulty. Now some part of fitness. It's not very comfortable. Maybe you can jump in a barana. Jump in a biodra. I will sit on your back. Great plan. Let's do this. <laughs> you make the task harder and then you release the pressure and then your worker can work a lot faster. <laughs> I'm doing a man's job because I am very strong, active woman or whatever. Finally we are ready to go with the flow so we can take our boat, our canoe to the river and then I can give my friends the paddles and I can finally eat my bread rolls. You have to get inside first. I thought that you, you would pre prepare the canoe here so I can go just... Does anyone have any idea how to go inside without getting totally dirty? Stop being so lazy and get back to work. Well, it's around five, five o'clock, so there is a chance that we won't be at the ending point before the sunset. So maybe we will be swimming, swimming, kayaking during the night. Swim. I, 
there's one there. Man, there, there's one. I don't know if you saw that, but there was a swan. Uh, it is now right behind the river corner, <laughs> river co cor corner of the river. And um, last time when I was kayaking in the uh, similar region, on, in, on a different part of the river, then the swan was with, with us whole time. There was a, two swans. There were two swans with two baby swans, and as you probably know, swans are only dangerous when they are with their kids, little bad, little swans. So um, they were in front of us all the time. But then there was a part of the river when we have to go next to each other, and I was kind of worried that when we will be going next to them, they get angry at us, but luckily they didn't. We are in, everything is in perfect control. It's not like we just hit the little willow on the bank. But it's not, that's not my fault because I'm not uh, a navigator today. <laughs> at least not now because I'm talking for you. I, I always get super cold uh, on such adventures, but today I have with me uh, the jumper, the scarf, the hat, and the jacket and a super cool touristic blanket which you can fit in very small bag so there is a small chance that finally i will be warm in poland we don't have uh, rapid rivers this is one of the faster <laughs> rivers in Poland and it's very slow but if you like chilling on a boat then this is a very good hobby and you could have one or two cold beers hidden somewhere on a kayak even though you definitely shouldn't drink while swimming because it's dangerous but everywhere on this river um, water is maybe waist height and it's it's not very far away and the, the banks are not very far from each other uh, but you got a really cool atmosphere because usually the banks are really high and you have this really tall grass on each side so you swim uh, like in a tunnel of grass and it looks a little bit like I don't know south America or something like that, you know. Water. I got in my powder, my older and trousers, some bread for the road. The call of the bugle and of the refusal to wait for the snow. She know that I'll grow slowly as a raindrop down a window pane. She knows that I'll hold the locket on a chain to keep the evil things away. We are missing it. Jesus, come be clean, dismiss me or keep me, just let me go on. She'll be burning a candle under the mantle when the evenings get cold. She knows that I'll grow slowly as a raindrop down the window. She knows that I'll hold hey, the rocket on a chain to keep. Victory is out. We just conquered this land in the name of Aramis Fencing School. For now it's doing great, although paddling is always most difficult than you remember, especially when you have a new team and you are not used to paddling with your new mate and he is turning right in the moment when you are turning left and at the end you are swimming with your backside down the river. We just found these two pieces of wood and we did this little funny game <laughs> in which you try, uh, you don't want to let your opponent to touch the ground. Obviously I'm on a lost position a little bit because I'm uh, 
lighter but my side is a little bit longer so if I am very desperate and I move my body outside then sometimes I don't uh, I can win with Tom Tomek or I can do a prank like this and let him you know just oh, kurde. Kurde. <laughs> I just let my <laughs> myself to jump and then he hits the ground <laughs> so it's cool you can do it in your yard but don't do it without a supervision because it's very very dangerous my f my f feet feel so strange now like the ground was moving <laughs> wytyrklować tą łódką, a ty jeszcze tam gadaj po angielsku. Co to jest szkolenie dla młodych chłopców z jakichś stowarzyszeń chrześcijańskich? O co chodzi?